Q1. What are the key steps involved in writing effective test cases, and how do you prioritize them in real-world scenarios? Understand requirements and define clear objectives before writing test cases. Analyze the requirements in detail. Clarify functional and business requirements by collaborating with developers, product owners, and business analysts. Define a clear objective for each test case, ensuring it aligns with the features acceptance criteria. This helps keep the focus on verifying specific functionalities or scenarios. Write detailed test steps and identify data. Ensure test steps are written logically and clearly, with specific actions and expected outcomes. Each step should guide the tester through the process to replicate user actions. Prepare test data that covers a wide range of scenarios, including valid, invalid, and boundary values. The right test data helps uncover more edge cases and ensures better coverage. Prioritize test cases based on risk and impact in real-world scenarios. Prioritization is essential. Focus on high-risk areas and critical business functionalities first, as these are likely to have a larger impact if issues are found. Additionally, consider how often a functionality is used and its defect history. Frequently used features and areas with previous bugs should receive higher priority. Regular review and updates continuously review and update test cases to keep them relevant with product changes. Peer reviews ensure test cases are comprehensive and clear. Maintaining an updated test suite helps to avoid redundancy and keeps test cases aligned with current features and requirements. Q2 How does the final keyword impact variables, methods, and classes in Java? Provide examples. Final variables immutability. Once a final variable is initialized, its value cannot be changed. It makes the variable a constant. Initialization. It must be initialized either during declaration or within the constructor of the class. Primitives versus objects. For primitives, the value cannot change. For objects, the reference cannot change, but the object's internal state can. Final methods prevents overriding. A final method cannot be overridden by subclasses, ensuring that the method's behavior remains the same across the inheritance hierarchy. Use case, typically used when you want to lock a method's implementation to avoid alteration in child classes. Final classes prevents inheritance. A final class cannot be subclassed. This means no other class can extend the functionality of a final class. Use case, typically used for utility or helper classes, for example, java.lang.string, java.lang.math, where inheritance is not intended. Q3 What is the significance of the static keyword in Java? How would you use it with variables? methods, and blocks in your code. Static variables class level variables. A static variable is shared across all instances of a class. It is created once per class, and all instances share the same copy of this variable. Memory efficiency. Since static variables are stored in the class area and not in individual object memory, they save memory in cases where many instances of the class are created. Static methods class level methods. A static method belongs to the class, not to instances of the class. It can be invoked without creating an object of the class. Access restrictions. Static methods can only access static variables and static methods directly, as they don't have access to instance variables or methods, since there's no instance context. Q4. What is inheritance in Java, and how have you applied it in your automation framework? Inheritance in Java is a core concept of object-oriented programming, OOP, where one class, child or subclass, inherits the properties and behaviors, fields and methods, 
of another class, parent or superclass. This allows for code reusability, method overriding, and a clear hierarchical structure. Key features of inheritance reusability Child classes can reuse fields and methods of the parent class, reducing redundancy. Method overriding Child classes can modify the behavior of inherited methods. Extensibility New functionalities can be added to child classes without modifying the parent class. Type hierarchy A child class object is also considered as an instance of its parent class. In a Selenium framework, inheritance is used to centralize web driver setup and utility methods in a base class, which child test classes can reuse. Q5. What is encapsulation in Java, and how have you applied it in your automation framework? Encapsulation in Java is an object-oriented programming OOP, principle that involves bundling data, fields, and methods, functions, within a class, restricting direct access to some of the object's components, and only exposing necessary parts through public methods. This enhances data security, code maintainability, and modularity. In an automation framework, Encapsulation is applied as follows configuration management, store configuration details in private fields and access them through public getters and setters. Web driver management, encapsulate web driver initialization and management in dedicated classes to control browser instances centrally. Page object model, POM, use encapsulation to define page specific elements and actions in separate classes. Improving modularity and maintainability. Key points encapsulation Login page class hides internal details and exposes a simple login method. Private fields Web elements are private, accessed only through public methods. Public methods simplifies interaction with login functionality q6 what is the difference between list and set interfaces in java collections and how do you decide which one to use ordering list maintains the order of elements as they are inserted dot allows duplicates example array list linked list set does not guarantee order except linked hash set which maintains insertion order does not allow duplicates Example, hash set, tree set. Implementation list implementations like array list and linked list offer indexed access to elements. Set implementations like hash set and tree set do not support indexed access. Performance list array list provides O one time complexity for get and O and for add and remove at arbitrary positions. Linked list. Provides O one time complexity for add and remove at the beginning and end but O and forget. Performance set hash set provides O one average time complexity for add, remove, and contains. Tree set provides O log n time complexity for operations, maintains elements in sorted order. How to decide which one to use order and duplicates use list if you need to maintain the order of elements or allow duplicates. Use set if you need to ensure uniqueness of elements and order is not a concern. Performance requirements use list if you need fast indexed access and are fine with the potential cost of duplicates. Use set for operations involving unique elements where performance for adding, removing, and checking for elements is critical. Q7 can you explain how you handle browser cookies in Selenium WebDriver, such as adding, deleting, or retrieving cookies during a session? Handling browser cookies in Selenium WebDriver is essential for managing sessions, maintaining state, and testing various scenarios. Here's a concise guide on how to add, delete, and retrieve cookies during a session. Adding cookies use driver.manage. Add cookie new cookie name, value, deleting cookies use driver.manage. Delete cookie named name, or driver.manage. Delete all cookies, 
Retrieving cookies use driver.manage. Get cookie named name or driver.manage. Get cookies. Q8. How do you manage cross browser testing using Selenium WebDriver? And what challenges have you faced? Managing cross browser testing with Selenium WebDriver involves ensuring that your test scripts run consistently across different web browsers and their versions. Here's how you can approach cross browser testing, along with common challenges. Managing cross browser testing with Selenium WebDriver 1. Using WebDriver for different browsers approach. Utilize specific web driver implementations for different browsers, such as Chrome driver, Firefox driver, and Edge driver. Using Selenium Grid approach, use Selenium Grid to manage test execution across multiple browsers and platforms simultaneously. Using Browser Stack or Source Labs approach, integrate with cloud-based platforms like Browser Stack or Source Labs to run tests on various browsers and operating systems without maintaining multiple environments. Challenges and Solutions in Cross-Browser Testing 1. Browser-Specific Issues Challenge Different browsers may render elements differently. Solution Use browser-specific capabilities and feature detection to handle variations. 2. Browser versions and compatibility challenge. Inconsistent results across different browser versions. Solution Regularly update WebDriver binaries and test on multiple browser versions. Challenges and solutions in cross browser testing. 3. Performance overheads challenge. Running tests on multiple browsers can be time consuming. Solution Use parallel execution with Selenium Grid or cloud based services. 4. Environment Configuration Challenge Setting up and maintaining multiple browsers and drivers. Solution Utilize Selenium Grid or cloud based platforms to streamline management. Q9 What is the role of Ad Factory Annotation in Test NG, and how is it different from a data provider? Ad Factory Annotation Purpose Ad Factory is used to create instances of a test class with different configurations. It allows you to generate multiple instances of a test class dynamically, each with a different set of parameters. Usage It is used when you need to initialize test classes with specific parameters that determine how the test is executed. At Data Provider Annotation Purpose A data provider is used to supply data to a test method allowing the same test to be executed multiple times with different data sets. Usage It is used when you want to run a test method with multiple sets of data, each set being provided by the add data provider method. Q10 Can you explain how step definitions in Cucumber are mapped to the feature file, and what happens if multiple steps match the same definition? Mapping Steps to Definitions 1. In Cucumber, step definitions are methods in your code that correspond to the steps defined in your feature files. 2. Each step in the feature file is linked to a method in the step definition class using annotations like at given, at when, at then, etc. 3. The step definitions are matched to feature file steps based on the text provided in the feature file and the regular expressions defined in the annotations. Handling multiple matching steps If multiple step definitions match the same step in the feature file, Cucumber will use the first matching step definition it finds. This can cause ambiguity if the steps are not specific enough or if there are multiple methods with similar patterns.